I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Like a broken record. But that's only because it's true. Freepik comes out with the most realistic update. Literally, you can now generate the viral images just like these that everyone has been talking about. And you can do it directly within Freepik with no magical prompts, hidden tricks, or complex workflows. It's as simple as it could possibly be. And to top it off, I want all of you to be able to take advantage of this powerful realism update. So for that, I'm going to give you an incredible prompt generator that will create the most realistic prompts to leverage this realism power in free pick via flux. All you have to do is provide a subject and just like that, you'll get a ton of prompts to use that generate images just like these. So I'll first show you where and how to find flux realism. Then from there, we'll head over and then test out this amazing prompt generator. A prompt generator is a prompt that generates prompts. So we're basically going to turn chat GPT into a prompt generating machine, which will instantly generate 10 prompts for any kind of image we want. And then from there, I'll show you how we can make chat GPT basically give us an infinite, unlimited amount of prompts. So here we are right now in free pick and everything's the same, except now on the left hand side in our menu, look at this new model, go ahead and select model, open up this box and now look at these options we get. And then there it is. There is flux realism, but not only that, that's not the only new model we're getting. We're also getting flux fast. There's regular flux. And then we have classic fast and then classic down here at the bottom. So obviously to use realism, make sure you have flux realism selected. And then from there, everything else is the same as far as our sizes and aspect ratios. The only thing you'll notice is that right here, style is going to be blurred out. It only gives us one option and that's going to be photo. That's because this is meant to generate the most realistic style images. Now let's head over to my new prompt generator database and it's going to contain hundreds of prompt generators. You'll never need prompts again. Don't forget to check the links in the description. Now I'll put the links in my description so you can copy and paste and use this actual prompt I'm sharing with you today. In addition to thousands of other prompts, and databases as well. There is the big long prompt right here. As I scroll down, I just put in one simple subject. From that subject, instantly, I got these 10 prompts with all of them creating some ultimate photorealism. So now let's go ahead and use that prompt over here in real time. Now, here I am over here in my new prompt generating database. Every single prompt in here is a prompt that's gonna generate prompt after prompt. So I'll come all the way down here to the one we're gonna use right now. Go ahead and expand it. And now you can see here is the very long prompt. Okay, and it's going to be a prompt guru for 10 prompts plus five more for incredible creativity. Okay, so now we're going to head back over here into ChatGPT. Now, just like this, I went ahead and pasted the prompt in and then here it is right here. It is long, but it doesn't matter because we're going to let ChatGPT do all the work. So once it's in here, simply just press enter and then there we have it. ChatGPT takes control. Absolutely. I understand. Please just let me know your subject. And then from there, it's going to generate 10 highly detailed prompts. And then out of those 10 prompts, ChatGPT will then ask you which one was your favorite. As soon as you select your favorite prompt, it's then going to make five more and then make them even better. So let's go ahead and then try this in real time. And so what I'll do is I'll head over here to my X page, okay? Because I posted a tweet about this earlier about here is the prompt that everyone is using to make images that look just like this. Now, the next step is let's go back to ChatGPT and let's paste this in. You could go ahead and use the whole prompt, but the purpose of this prompt generator is to make the process as easy as possible with just one simple keyword minimum. So for this one, let's just go ahead and remove a few of these keywords to make it as simple as possible. And so I just said, young woman smiling on stage from Google tech conference, simple as that. Now go ahead and hit enter. And now watch this instantly 10 prompts right away. Once it's done, we're then going to select our favorite and then get even more. Okay. Amazing. Now look at this right here, 10 prompts. But one of the things I love best about this prompt is because I gave it specific instructions to give me the highly detailed adjectives and descriptions specific for photo realism. So you'll notice right here, it's giving us the specific camera, the specific lens to use in addition to the lighting, like right here, the lighting should be soft and natural. And then we're also going to get the details for ISO aperture. And then right here, even the bokeh effect. Amazing. So just like that, let's go ahead and then copy this prompt right here. We can start with this one, but watch when I scroll down to the very bottom. Now chat GPT says, please let me know which prompt you prefer and I'll refine it even further. So the next thing you'll do is just tell ChatGPT which prompt you want it to refine. To make it easy, I just said prompt one and now watch this. Instantly again, it gets right back to work and now I'm getting an even better prompt. Look at that. Prompt one refined, generate a highly detailed image. So this is going to 
be a lot more detailed. Combining both of these paragraphs together. If I go back up to the top, it goes from this one all the way down to now two very long and very detailed prompts. And that's the exact purpose we're looking for. We want to get these photos looking as realistic as possible to really take advantage of flux realism in free pick. So now that I have my prompt copied, let's come back over here in the free pick and now just simply paste it in. Now for this one, I'll just go ahead and go with the first one, the one that's not refined since it is a little bit shorter, just to see how good of a job it did. But I'll tell you, it's going to do a phenomenal job. Watch this. There is the full entire prompt right there. Make sure realism is selected. Now select create. Okay, wow, and now that was fast. Look how amazing these two images look. Very impressive. Now notice this, the fine details is what is so incredibly impressive. Over here on the left-hand side, in my prompt column, notice this. I didn't specifically say to actually utilize the text or the words Google, but since Flux Realism does such a great job understanding, it knew somehow to put Google with the actual correct spelling over here on both of these screens. Now let's go ahead and expand this one. Look how amazing and impressive this looks. It's all in the fine details. Like I said, it gave me that nice bokeh effect. The aperture and the ISO is identical to what the prompt actually specifies on the left-hand side. Now, before we wrap this up, let's go ahead and try one more. This time, let's do the more refined prompt just to see what kind of difference maker it can actually be. So again, back over here in ChatGPT, let's go ahead and now copy the whole entire long refined prompt just like that copy this in head back over the free pick and now paste this even longer one in which is going to be two paragraphs in total now select create okay and wow i actually didn't think i could get more impressed but i definitely think i am let's go ahead and expand these images right here Oh man, this is incredible. Look at this. Everything I was wanting. The thing I love about this are two things specifically. The text and Google spelled accurately. That blurriness, which is going to be the aperture, and then the lighting for the ISO. And then I still get that bokeh effect where it's going to have that little bit of a blurriness, including this man's shadow of his head. Incredible. Let's go to the next image. And this could actually be even better. The woman, incredibly realistic. Google, nice little touch with the yellow O. And then again, blurriness, the aperture is correct, and then the ISO and the lighting. This is fantastic. So there you have it. Another powerful update from FreePick via Flux, but now Flux Realism. So don't forget, I'll include links in my description to access this prompt generator that we use today. And then I'll also include additional links to access all of my prompts databases in addition to thousands of prompts that you could use any way you like. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time